The country, which oscillates between Mediterranean and desert climates, has seen very little rainfall this year. Last month, the Ministry of Agriculture said the situation would become catastrophic if there would still be no sign of rain by the end of summer. Residents in poor areas, already marked by sharp social tensions, are stretched to the limit. We have to buy water tanks for what we use and what our animals use. We've sent out requests to the government, but they remain unanswered. All we can do is wait for rain, God willing. Tunisia has been long considered one of the countries most affected by water issues. This year, precipitation has dropped by around 30 percent, one of the worst years for rainfall on record. Repeated droughts have led to agricultural losses of more than 800 million euros in 2016, according to the sector's main union. Since mid-May, the Ministry of Agriculture has reported 700 water shortages nationwide. We are waiting for rain, otherwise agriculture will be negatively affected. There will also be an impact on investors in the fields of plant nurseries and especially plantations that require large amounts of water. Rainfall is by far Tunisia's largest source of water, but climate change is causing increasingly strong variations. The country's 30 or so dams are seeing their reserves dry out. In just one year, water reserves of the Sidi Salem Dam have gone from 414 million cubic meters to an estimated 203 million, a decrease of some 50%. We still have a month left of consumption before we get to the strategic reserve. In other words, if there's no rainfall by the end of September and we have no other resources, we will have to use the strategic reserve and that's a very dangerous situation. Tunisia's new government says several dam projects blocked since 2011 revolution have been resumed, but only rainfall can help refill existing dams and groundwater reserves. Out of options in the face of persistent droughts, the Ministry of Religious Affairs has called on Tunisians to pray for rain. Via report for ANN7.